Welcome back to another video of Dreams. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys highlights of the stream that Media Monkey had earlier today. For those of you who weren't aware that Media Monkey even had a stream and are curious to know what it was about, it basically showed most of the same levels from E3, but went behind the scenes with the level creators to see how it was made. Even though we've seen like most of the levels, it's still nice to see the creators of the levels playing it because we get to see more than you know that was shown at E3 because these people actually made the level so they know what you can do or what you can't do. But we did actually see some new characters and some new levels that were made by the people in Media Molecule, so that also be interesting to watch. We bothered to show like how they made the level just because I felt like I was kind of boring to watch. In my opinion, I don't like I wouldn't want to watch that if I'm just trying to get into a game. But if you guys are still curious and know how everything worked out and want to watch the entire stream, I will have the link to that in the description. You guys can go ahead and go over to Media Molecule's Twitch and watch the entire stream. And that's all I have to say. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like and comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new here because I'm always posting about dreams and I'm going to post a crap ton when the beta drops and any information I could find, I'll just be posting that. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one and uh, peace. Yeah, I've been working on a little game called Reflection and it's a game where you flex <laughs> <laughs> and it's basically simon says but with flexing um and i made this game so i could um, show off my bipeds that i'll be talking about later so first in the game you see a sequence um and then you have to repeat it with your own character um so it's ready set flex <laughs> and then it holds it yeah so yeah, and I'm gonna add some sound effects afterwards mm -hmm. and some like cool intro screens and yay! I there love I your go. crowd. <laughs> so yeah, good, it's really too. beautiful. You have a background in graphic design, right? Uh, or graphic gra novels. Yeah, gra comics yeah. and illustration basically. Really so I'm cool. very, very 2D. So this is the first time I'm doing 3D and it's like it's very new but super fun. I'm How long have you been working on this? Uh, like two weeks, maybe. Like cool. I heard about the stream and I was like, I'm gonna make a game for it, and then like I didn't manage to finish it, but it will be done <laughs> at one point, and then maybe we'll release it to the world. Cool. Um, yeah. So basically, what I wanted to focus on was the bipeds that I've been making. Yeah. So this um, hairy and muscly man was the first biped I ever made uh, in Dreams. Uh, so cool. I'll just go to edit mode so it doesn't look around all the time. Um, and I'll stamp them in in the succession I made them. So I made three bipeds here at MM. Um, this is the second biped I oh, made. Oh, the fish boy. The fish boy. Let's see. Uh, and then I just need to turn him around. Oh, wow. Yeah. There, oh, look at him. He's so there cute. he is. This is the second one. And then there is a third one, which is the astronaut. So then I'll take you guys through the, the way I made them. Um, so there we go. Um, so yeah, so these were like made in like the second week I was here, maybe the mm -hmm. fourth week and then like two weeks ago or something like that, um, if that timeline makes any sense whatsoever. And uh, yeah. So how I start, of course, as a 2D artist, is sketching on paper mm -hmm. by hand. And um, so... Let's have a look. OK. Uh, purple, yellow, pink, orange. So just everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, like let's, all of let's it. start with Black. purple. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, now, oh, look at those eyes. That's crazy. OK, so some things really change a lot, others stay kind of the same but mm -hmm. you just need to tint it and then you go in like you'll have to i'll have to go in and fix <laughs> some details mm -hmm. um afterwards but it's very easy to just like change it up and make like a huge cast for a multiplayer game for yeah. example mm. um so maybe there will be like a fish boy adventures with four different colored fish boys <laughs> and they can shoot there each other no. yeah know. there must be um and i guess that there's like a little fun thing that you can do with the fish boys. Oh, I love the walk. <laughs> <laughs> and the, again, like you used uh, strokes to make the uh, sort of like special effects. Yeah. For the, what, that's very cool. And I there's like little sound effects hooked up to it, and he can also like puke water. Well, naturally. <laughs> so I mean, like, why, why, why yeah, wouldn't me? Why wouldn't a fish be able to puke water? Yeah. So you can do like, I've done a bunch of like very simple keyframe <laughs> animation on mm -hmm. it that makes it very. Oh, I love that one. Too. <laughs> so th these are our fish boys flexes. So <laughs> you'll, you'll see that in the game afterwards. All yeah. right, cool. Okay, so 
Here we go. Warp. Up. Okay, so there you can see the arrows, and you see the little white one. Mm -hmm. And when you go near, it's like, oh, ship's detected, I'll turn that off. And when you go away, it's like, oh, ship's not detected, I'm gonna, not detected, mm -hmm. detected. Um, I'm gonna point at the nearest, like, uh, dreadnought tag. Yeah. And then the, the red one is obviously nearest enemy. I say obviously, maybe it's not obvious. And I love too that your uh, the little the moon in the background sort of pulses in time with your music. Oh and yeah, that's quite you have quite subtle. Oh, like yeah, and you have a whole intro, which like I've noticed lots more people are building for their levels, which is cool. Like little warp in, warp out. Like, like stuff's menu really, and stuff. Yeah, I yeah, no, yeah. it's really enjoyable to see people like adding those kinds of touches to their games. Yeah, so, oh, there's mines as well. So they're little homing dudes. Oh, I didn't tell, didn't tell you about that. That's fine, we don't have half playing, so... Yeah, I really am not good. Oh, there we go. Right. Got a little, uh, little purple dude following us. You can see we've got a purple arrow that points ah. at the, the nearest mine, which got me! Do do do. That's so cool. So I just can't help but, um... Play it and yeah, you've definitely kind of had a space theme with all of your stuff too. You know, you've gone like various levels of complexity yeah, into space. I might be a bit obsessed. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. Cool. And now that you've destroyed that one, there's a lot of the electrical arcs that you were talking oh, yes. about. As oh it yeah, that's a good point. Off into Show that there. there. That's John Beach's magic arcs in action. Thanks, yeah. John. Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. He can make his brain in dreams. <laughs> be very intense. Whoa. Wow, that's awesome. I'm really just trying to like win now. <laughs> All right, you know what? Are you, have, you can't, you can't leave until you beat it for us. Go get that one. Oh. Ah. Ah. Are we doing for like? Oh, we've got a life right. left. That should be all right. Yeah, yep. right. right. Just have to be uh, quite evading. We're the creator, so it's extra embarrassing if oh, you die. Oh yes. Nope. Oh my god. This is I'm tense. I'm nervous oh, for you. Yeah. Uh, oh. Beam, 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 beam up, beam, beam up, up. mine, mine, cheese it. <laughs> Use the boost. You just leg it into yeah. it. I'm out of it. Will it stop following you at a certain distance? Um, they kind of count down and then explode on their own, so it's oh, okay. like a time limit. They'll, they'll always try and follow you, but um, yeah, if you can evade, they'll just like, oh, I couldn't, couldn't get him, hop up. <laughs> Oh, and you can also slingshot them into the enemies if you're like super cunning. Show us how it's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. too late, nice. too late. Congratulations. You beat your own game. Yes. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Thing, Spirit of Zork. Um, so I'll just jump right in. Um, so, uh, Given Time is a game where you're at a party, a house party, that you don't particularly want to be at. Um, and uh, so it's basically a puzzle game. You have to explore the party. Um, and as you explore the house, uh, you find that somewhere in the loft, um, one of the people who lives here has summoned some otherworldly horror that sends you back in time. So you keep having to relive this party until you can beat the monster in the loft, basically. Uh, so that's the general idea. Um, so I did this all basically using the text, gadget, uh, text gadgets in Dreams. Um, so you basically, on each screen, get a bunch of options of what you can do. So you're standing outside and you press X to go in. We had someone at PAX that actually sat down and beat the whole thing. Yeah, shout out to that person. Right, <laughs> that right at the end the of the show. Because this is actually a pretty significant chunk of time that it takes. To yeah, go I'd say it takes, I mean, I think people average about 40, 45 minutes in the studio when they were playing it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, there's quite a lot here. There's about, I don't know, about 12 rooms in the house to explore and a bunch of different things to do. Um, so yeah, uh, basically on each screen you get a bunch of text, um, some options of what you can do. Uh, there's like an inventory and a status, so you pick things up as you go along, um, you learn things, you, you uh, get covered in things, so that's status. Um, so for example, here we can go from the hallway to the kitchen by pressing X. As you go through, you'll sort of see that you squeeze uncomfortably between tightly packed, packed clusters of people, uh, and so on. So basically, it's just it's a nightmare house party packed with people where everyone Not is... Not based on real experience. No, no, I've <laughs> never been to one of these things, ever. I wouldn't, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, and the nice thing about Dreams as well is that um, everything's quite interlinked. So in the same level that has text, you can quite happily use all of the other things like sculpting and music mm -hmm. and, and uh, the lighting system. So for example, in, in the living room, when you go in, uh, that's sort of been set up as a sort of the center of where everyone's just partying and dancing. So when you go in, I sort of use the sky system to change color over time to give you the impression that there's like a party going on in this room. Um, it's a really cool effect. 
So yeah, so in the living room, for example, as we go across the living room to a guy named Nick, for example, um, it's like your friend, as you go across, uh, basically someone stumbles while they're holding a drink and you get covered in beer. Uh, so when you go on to Nick, you'll see the status changes and now you're covered in beer. You're soaked. Yeah. Uh, so that's the general gist, anyway. Um, and then the game really starts, yeah, as I say, when you get to the loft. Because when you get to the loft, you encounter... So if we go up the stairs from the hallway, uh, you step in a pile of vomit. I'm going to skip past these, but the, the stream's recorded, so feel free to watch it back and pause to read the things if you like. The general gist is you go upstairs, you go across the landing to this hatch, uh, and as you go up to the loft, you encounter this thing in the loft. And it's good to note the sort of music change, like it gets, you know, like your music dolls as you go into the room. Yeah, as you, as you get further really from the center, cool. the music gets quieter, and you go into the loft and it changes entirely into something slightly terrifying, because there's this ominous thing that attacks you. Run, scream, or fight. This bit of a house party, your screen starts glitching out, and everything goes bad, and you get sent back to the start of the party. This is also based on real experiences. Yeah, of course, this is how, this is all my, how every party I've gone to has ended. And so then the game sort of resets, and you rewind time. Um, and on this loop, you now get different options because you know certain things. Um, so, for example, if we go to the living room now, so we go through from here to the kitchen, we go through into the living room. Now, when we try and go to our friend Nick, You'll see, because we know someone's going to spill beer on us, mm -hmm. we actually get this quick time event that lets us dodge the beer, because we know yes, it's coming. So we get dodge, future. and you press the button, and now you sidestep it. And now you can talk to Nick without being covered in beer. Um, so it's sort of standard time Which travel really puzzles. Which really bothers him. Yeah, it yeah. really does. Um, so yeah, it's just it's your classic time travel puzzles, but sort of used as a, an adventure game. It's pretty cool. So I basically made this game because I just wanted to have uh, like a, a very, do you see, how quick I could make like a just a spaceship controls, mm -hmm. which basically took me five minutes. No, oh, five minutes. So it's just like you know, it's tough. Some, well, you you'll see later how like how simple it is. But it's just you know like using the left stick on the on the advanced rotator, which all the LVP community will be very familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, so sort of, except like now it's in 3D, so that's like a, that's much more interesting. Oop! Someone's shooting at me. Um, but yeah, so it, it was just like, you know, doing that and then a bit like Liam was saying, uh, like was saying, uh, you know, you do that and then you start doing uh, something else and something else. I basically was like, oh yeah, well, I probably need a space station. And well, apparently like Tom Dalloway made a space station for the oh, Terran. So you Tom Dalloway space station. Exactly. I just remixed yeah. it and make it like really big. I just <laughs> cloned like tons of things, made a remix. And makes things like I think I scale it like twice. Same, you made a, a better space station than Tom yeah. Dalloway. These are fun. No, no, no. We both, we, we both, we both. <laughs> he's like right here. It. I know he's right here, but I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not again. No, I think that's really cool. Oh. It is one of the things that right. is like uh, that really helps me out in dreams, being able to take other people's things and sort of add my own touch, and then you know. Now you have a spaceship that you can fly. Yeah, exactly. So that was, you know, like by, by tweaking the control, you're like, okay, let's make some like narrow space. And then that's how you realize you need to make the thing like neater. And like, you know, like that's where you tweak all the numbers basically. Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, that was like, that was really handy. And then, you know, you had some lights and then, oh, I probably need some enemies. So you basically clone your ship. And exactly like uh, Emma was saying earlier, like uh, the bad guys are basically my spaceship, like uh, tinted in red. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But like with another key, uh, just instead of saying like a player, it just say like a bad guy or enemy. I can't remember, and um, and that's it. But the thing I wanted to show you is and so to show the autopilot. Um, I basically made this afternoon because I finished that last night. Um, I made like a a massive um, a massive level just full of the cylinders. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is basically <laughs> a maze of cylinder. And the goal was for my thing to just go through all that without crashing. So bear in mind there are some randomization on the thing because I all want the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the AI to be a bit like human, so to yeah. fail. So, ah, so let's, see, can, let's see how it does. Yeah, you can do so the spaceship thing where you exactly. to the side. So I'm not, I'm not touching. <laughs> well, of course he dies. <laughs> Let's go in uh, in cockpit view, but basically that's what it does. Oh, come on, don't die. Here we go. I'm not touching the pad yeah, no, at all, so no it, do it does rotate. Oh, fine. There's no magic. Happening. It does it does rotate and dodge and do everything in, on on his own. So it's it's quite efficient. That's so cool. 
It's quite efficient just doing that. It's just using Raycast, like no magic, hard-coded thing. So you can imagine if you double those things, it will be like impossible for him to die. Oh my God, I haven't done that before. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just satisfying. I want a screensaver with that. Yeah, <laughs> I just really enjoy watching it. That's mm -hmm. great. That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if I play that as a player, I will probably die, but it doesn't. <laughs> of Moon Raiders, that will be all that for the, all the enemies, so they'd be, they'll be much harder to kill, and of course, like uh, there will be like uh, guided missiles. Oh, and, I feel uh, like you just announced you just announced your sequel, Moon Raiders. Uh, <laughs> well, no, actually, like this is this is supposed to be like a bit of a like a tutorial, mm -hmm. to be honest. It's not. It's, it wasn't meant to be like a. It's not a full game. Like there's some part will be on a planet. That's a part with other vehicles. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yeah, like those guys are basically trying to shoot one of my allies. That's just gonna kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that guy is just in front of me. Here we go. Nice. Goodbye. Well, I can do that for hours, but oh, someone is actually oh, someone is shooting at me. Yeah, it looks amazing, and uh, it was the first time I saw how the AI worked, and uh, that's just like super cool. And it makes a lot of sense again when you're like, okay, well, to rotate, it detects this one thing and rotates yeah. the side. Like, it really yeah, it's, it. it's just like somehow you realize how you could make things work, and you're like, oh, let's try, and it does work, and that's somehow like super satisfying. Yeah, that's what I love about <laughs> these. Like, I feel like I learn something new like every time I see you guys mm. like dig into the, the logic behind them. Um, and that's how I think uh, Steve uh, actually will start yeah. by playing Hammer Time. Hammer Time is like a really big crowd favorite uh, when we show these because um, of the competitive nature. Damn it. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, this was. Um, oh, this is. Um, Let me sit up to the microphone a little bit. Okay. We're distracting him with the microphones so that you can <laughs> win. Just so you know. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so this was made quite a while ago. It was kind of the um, first attempt at making a mini game mm -hmm. using actual scores um, and being versus. So should we start? Just play through. Yeah, Let's do that. Just uh, give it a playthrough, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how you did it. Yeah. I think the little character is so sweet. Uh, yeah, it only took me pretty half an hour to actually make it. So wow. It's quite <laughs> really? Yeah, the animation is, it's kind of, um, the hammer was made on its own mm -hmm. and then stamped inside a biped, so I'll get some points I'm going to lose. <laughs> See, yeah. we're just distracting, distracting, <laughs> talking, distracting. I know, talk, talk, talk Steve, about. talk, say yeah, something, say something. something. <laughs> Tell us more things, Steve. How about like, yeah, puppet, puppet yeah, here, puppet there. Gonna win, yeah. gonna win, gonna win. And then to make the whole experience. <laughs> yeah, um, so it's win. pretty much just two key frames on the animation and stamped inside the biped moving around and the rest of it's kind of um, logic around it to get the other objects to interact with it. So how, Yeah, how long did it take you uh, to, to complete the game? Uh, to make the whole thing was I think it was like two weekends. That's pretty amazing. I, I kind of made a character and thought I just try to make, like, I made the mechanics of like, um, just seeing what's actually fun. Mm -hmm. Like just making individual things, like just hitting things around, smashing things was fun. And everything else, did you pretty much sculpt from scratch or were you using stuff in the Dreamiverse? Um, it's kind of combined, mm -hmm. um, like um, see those windows there? Mm -hmm. They're kind of made by Christoph. Oh. oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I did this for my Parisians. <laughs> yeah, I oh, think yeah. I like edited them oh, slightly. Nice. Like took some of the things out, but it's like pretty much that. And then the like the walls <laughs> and Talk obviously the floor talks. and stuff I just made in the. I know toxic stuff. <laughs> um, Sorry, I feel like we're really running uh, a diversion here, Christoph and I. So uh, apologies. Oh. I, ne is, I, I never win. Level. I never win that stage. It just blew my mind how awesome it is. It's so Alice in Wonderland. I love it. I, love I know. It. I like. <laughs> And it's just super fun. I always like start with like the try to get the first hit in like right off the get go, uh, which only ever works once, and then people figure it out. But I will never forget the first day that I saw this in the office because it was mostly just from the noise of people shouting at each other uh, and like getting super competitive. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <Got> you. <laughs> I won a man game. Yeah. It's fine. We tried to distract him, but he. Ah, you know, oh, you're a winner. Game. Of course so, you are. Of course. Yay. Someone was asking about uh, Steve's background before. Then it's interesting because these guys. Oh uh, yeah. Come, um, so. 
Yeah. yeah, for those of you who don't know Steve, Steve Big Guns, and Kristoff, uh, they did come from the LBP community. Uh, so they were creating things in LBP and then came to join the team at Media Molecule. So, I mean, that's uh, uh, that's a short version. But Steve, if you want to talk a little bit more about, like, um, writing and how yeah. you became part of MM. Uh, yeah, well, um, well, I've previously, well, I was started making stuff at home um, when, pretty much um, when I tore most of my tendons doing stuff in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so it gave me a lot of free time. Um, and then I got um, um, an email from Sony to work um, at, well, I was at, um, I think it was initially Tarsier and then Sumo oh, Digital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So but then, the, yeah, so I started working there. And then I, I applied here um, around, was it almost four years ago? Yeah, mm. and then just started working here. So, and what was your background before then? Um, it's mostly um just um, doing fitness instructing. So, That's so cool. It's <laughs> completely different, and but uh, yeah, actually going in and making stuff at, at home. I was kind of considering going into making games anyway. Because mm -hmm. it's like you, when you actually do it, you kind of you actually realize it's it's more enjoyable and more rewarding than any mm. other job. It's not just doing the same thing. You feel like you've achieved something at the end of the day, you know, rather than you've just done a done a job. Yeah, which is why I like it. How about you, Christoph? What was your background before? Well, it's a, bit, it's a bit similar thing. It's like a, a proper 180, you know, change for, uh, from your from your life. Well, from first I was in France, mm -hmm. and I actually, for some weird reason, uh, never came to the UK before. Like all French kid, you know, come to the UK as you know as with school and do like lots of trips and. I, I didn't, and uh, yeah, that was really funny. Like uh, I, I was actually making um, level for LBP one. I mean, just like you, and uh, and that was I think that was like a staff was running like uh, the MM community thing, and every every week or every month, I can't remember. Like there was like uh, you know, it was saying like oh, submit your things, and uh, and well, I was like. Well, maybe I should, you know, <laughs> send my pinball and send my uh, Maya maze. I can't remember. Like, uh, I think that was a Maya-inspired thing. And um, uh, well, I, I used to be an art director in advertising, so I had like a, an art background and like uh, lots of positioning thing in space to be pretty and to breathe and to be like easy to understand. And I was also making some game on Flash back mm -hmm. in the days, uh, like a. Running a, like a small community for my things, so so yeah. One day I had like a message from like um, a guy working on MM saying like uh, yeah we really like your levels. Uh, do you want to come and work with us? Uh, blah blah blah. That's so it's cool. Probably a spam. I nice. I honestly like didn't believe at all what the thing was. I was like, it's probably someone who wants to be friends, and uh, I, was, uh, I don't understand. I don't <laughs> know you. And, uh, and, and the name, the name of the of, of the of the pseudo wasn't even part of MM. Like it was like, of course, there was an avatar. And then the next week, there was like, well, Karim or our director really like your level, and Mark think your level are like funny, and uh, the, the, there's no bug in it, and uh, we really want to meet you. And I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's real. Maybe that's yeah. real. But uh, yeah, I never read email on, on PS3, so yeah. <laughs> I just sent I just sent my CV, and uh, the week later I was on the Eurostar, like a coming that contest. That is so cool. Amazing. That was great. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we really want to bring you uh, more of this kind of stuff, where we show you a bit more how everybody has made like all this crazy cool stuff behind the scenes. Um, we're still on track to bring you a beta later this year. We're really excited about it, and I hope this inspires you to make some really awesome, cool stuff. Uh, we'd love to show you some of the ways we use the tools so that you'll get an idea of how you might use the tools uh, when you have dreams. So thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, tune in for the next stream.